Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for May 2016. This month, you start off with the Six of Spades, which is very much a um, card of, like, fate of things happening just because they're supposed to happen kind of deal here. Uh, so you could have, like, a lot of fated events. You could, like, fall into a lot of things, like, fall into a relationship that, like, really just kind of comes out of nowhere. You could just fall into a business that really comes out of nowhere or some type of situation. I really feel that very strongly. Normally, I don't deliver that message on this card because, to me, all, well, you know, let's start here. All sixes are karmic, number one, so they all kind of have to do with fate in a lot of ways, if you happen to believe in, in karma, and, and if you happen to believe in energy and things like that, and putting energy out, then they're very karmic. Um, so I don't normally don't say that this card has to do with, like, fate, because they all kind of, all sixes kind of do in a lot of ways, but I'm feeling it very strongly this month, so a lot of you could have, like, a lot of those faded events kind of coming your way. Um, this is also a card of uh, incremental improvements, things improving in your life that maybe haven't been going so well for you. Uh, there's been a lot of that, even, like, over the past months. I mean, I bet you if you went back to, like, even... You know, the crazy thing is I've been doing this for a year. I can't believe it. This uh, this May is going to be my one year here on YouTube. And I think even a year ago, if you went back that far in my videos for Scorpio, it's kind of like a lot of you maybe were like working through some things that really weren't working out. It's going to be different for all of you. Maybe work, maybe love, who knows. It's like I said, it's going to be different for every Scorpio. And it, things really weren't working out. But I think that this is now finally you being able to put energy into those same things and kind of them coming back around almost and finally maybe working out for you in a different way. Next, you have a two of spades. Again, separation. And this is a card of separation. It's interesting because I'm not feeling this as a separation coming in. And that's kind of why I delivered that more faded message. I think this is more talking about an old separation that you've all, you already went through. Uh, it could be a relationship, could be, um, like I said, could be like a work thing or could even be maybe your spiritual beliefs or something. Maybe you've gone back and forth. But I think that this is talking about the old separation that happened. And uh, now it's like turning around. You have the two of diamonds coming in, which is like matching up perfectly with something. So it's almost like there's like a little turnaround this month. Maybe it's that like, maybe it's more like you realizing the turnaround this month as well. So that that things are going your way now. Uh, so that would be really nice. Two of Diamonds is a great card for investments as well. So any of you that have a business, any of you who are investing or thinking about investing, this is a very good card. Uh, any of you that get a job this month under this card, this is a very good card for jobs as well. It's a good job a card for thinking about getting jobs, good card for, you know, thinking about all, all those things. So if you get anything, even if you get like a business partner or work partner, uh, this card is a card of like matching up perfectly with something in finances. So that's a really good card for that. Next, you have the Eight of Clubs, which is another very good financial card, by the way. It looks like it's going to be kind of a rather nice financial month for you, especially if you're willing to uh, kind of like put the work into things and all that. Then, you know, it looks like it'll be nice for you. This is also a card. It can be a card of being a little bit stubborn, though, on, on something. So, you know, you might have like a little bit of a stubborn streak this month. Maybe you're, maybe somebody comes in and offers you some advice or, you know, offers you like a tip on how to do something or, you know, maybe somebody gives you advice that you don't want to hear. Feels like it, it feels very much like advice. Eight of Clubs is a card of communication. So usually it's somebody coming in telling us something. And again, maybe it's something you don't want to hear off of this card, but. It's kind of like one of those things where if you listen to the advice, you know, it, it would probably be really good advice, especially on an eight of clubs. It's a very positive card. Um, next, you have the seven of diamonds. So definitely, I think that this month you're looking at how to improve your finances as well. I think it's probably like a focus for you. Um, it's also, I mean, this is a card of, it can be a card of like possibilities, having options and things like that in finances, having options in work, having options to do new things in work and uh, looking at new, uh, new positions and things like that. But something's missing. So usually like this could be you looking at a new position of, in work and, but maybe you have to talk to your boss about it and go get more education or maybe you'd have to take some night classes or something. It's always like, you know, there's a benefit here, but you just have to do something a little bit extra this could be in relationships as well you know maybe you could really improve your relationship but maybe there's just like a little bit something that you need to work on to kind of like fix things and finally you have the king of clubs so definitely a lot of you dealing with possibly with bosses or mentors this month king of clubs is also somebody coming in giving advice so that, that kind of is what's was steering me towards that eight of clubs being advice as well is that this king of clubs is also here kind of giving you advice so definitely listen to you know if a boss or a mentor or somebody 
who maybe is a higher up or, uh, you know, even if you're not working, again, you could still have somebody you consider a mentor coming in, giving you advice. It would be good advice that you'd want to listen to. So looks like a really good month. Two of Diamonds, very positive card. It really sets the tone for the month. Plus the Six of Spades, incremental improvements, really makes nice, and, you know, kind of that's improvements in your whole life, not just money, not just love, kind of everything. So looks like a good month, and uh, thank you for watching.